Let's destroy Amber Heard's appeal, shall we? everyone, it's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the news and pop culture stories of the day that's pretty much got me eye, and oh my goodness, finally, it's in, Amber Heard's appeal, it is official, and um, yeah, uh, there was a certain section that literally caught me eye, and I thought, really, you're gonna go that route? You're really going to try that? Really? Well, before I completely destroy her on all of that, a little bit of housekeeping. Firstly, YouTube human reviewer, I see you lurking. I'm not going to say any trigger words or anything that's going to offend your ear holes. And to everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video, hi, welcome, how are you doing? If you love news and pop culture on the daily served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically this, right? Do make sure you click on that subscribe button, like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatever's. Also as well, for your consideration, you can always send me a super thanks, which is just below this video right here. And <laughs> let's jump into this, shall we? So I'm going to direct your attention to page 40. <laughs> It's a lot of pages in this thing. And I'm going to quote two paragraphs. So, first one. In this regard, it bears emphasis. There is significant difference between proof of actual malice and mere proof of falsity. Depp cannot prevail merely by proving that the situation did not occur. Rather, to establish actual malice by clear and convincing evidence, he was required to offer affirmative evidence that her did not believe he had been a monster to her or entertained serious doubts about whether he had done so. There is no such evidence. And then the second paragraph then says, Depp alleged that the op-ed falsely implied that Heard was a survivor of DV by him. Because actual malice is a subjective standard, whether Heard believed that Dept was a monster to her must be judged by her own state of mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking that as her and her lawyers saying the following, okay? This is nuts, by the way. If Johnny Depp couldn't prove that Amber was intentionally malicious and libelous in her op-ed, then it means that he was a monster to her. So, in other words, Johnny couldn't prove that Amber was intentionally malicious and libelous, right, in her op-ed. So, until you can prove otherwise, this means that, you know, Based on Amber's state of mind, he was a monster to her, that it did happen to her. Are you scratching your head too on that one? Because I'm like, what the absolute douche? You're really going to try this particular argument? Oh my, she's in hell. Let me, let me drop some knowledge on you here. My degree is going to be showing a little bit, so... Hold on to your butts and your ear holes on this one because this is the fallacy of proving non-existence, guys. I cannot believe she is going here. So what does this mean? So it's the fallacy or mistake of appealing to ignorance to reach a conclusion that's based on a lack of knowledge or evidence, such as taking the position of this. If you cannot prove that X does not exist then it means that X does exist. So, in other words, if you cannot prove that Amber Heard was intentionally malicious and libelous in regards to her turning around and saying that Johnny Depp was a monster, then it means that Johnny Depp was a monster. And based on her own state of mind, that's evidence enough to prove that Johnny Depp is said monster. <laughs> Do you see where I'm coming from here? This is insane. This is nuts. Let's go even further and give you some examples. So 
you know, you can understand this whole position that they're taking, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. So the logical form of the argument of proving non-existence, so the technical way of it is this. I cannot prove that X exists, so you prove that it doesn't. If you can't, X exists. So let's give you some examples here. Um, and this is from logicallyfallacious.com, which is a brilliant website, by the way. Um, so example one, God exists. So you can prove otherwise, I will continue to believe that he does. So what that essentially is saying is that because you cannot prove that God does not exist, in the, uh, therefore he does exist because you cannot prove his non-existence it therefore means that he exists yes 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 these are the kind of arguments guys in my opinion conspiracy through whatever that amber heard and her lawyers are making in these paragraphs right here <laughs> Let's, let's go on to another one here, example number two. So, Sheila says, I know Elvis's ghost is visiting me in my dreams. Ron says, yeah, I don't think that really is his ghost. Sheila be like, prove that it's not. So, what this is, is the confusion of a probability and possibilities. The inability to prove in any sense of the word that the ghost of Elvis is not visiting Sheila in her dreams is an impossible request because there's no test that proves the existence and presence of a ghost. So there's no way to prove the negative or the non-existence. So it's up to Sheila to provide proof of this claim or at least acknowledge that actually being visited by Elvis's ghost is just a possibility, no matter how slim that possibility is. And here, again, it's the confusion between probability and possibility. Because she can say, look, you know, my own state of mind proves that it happened. No, it's only that the possibility that it actually happened what was the probability that Johnny Depp actually was a monster to her? And we all heard the tapes. We all saw the videos, heard the witness testimony. I don't know about you guys, but for me, the probability that Johnny Depp is a monster is all the way down to freaking zero. I'll tell you that right now. And she's paying, she is paying, whoever is paying, these lawyers, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for this. <laughs> and they're going to rely on the argument and the fallacy of proving non-existence to try and prove a point that Johnny Depp actually was a monster after all. Really? <laughs> oh, this is laughable, guys. Absolutely laughable. But I tell you something, right? As far as I'm concerned, if she is turning around and saying what she is saying here, which is, well, you couldn't prove otherwise, therefore it happened. Amber, you're destroyed. You are destroyed. What the hell, lass? What the hell? Guys, do you know what? Enough with my gob. It's time for your gob. Sound off in the comments down below. What do you think to all of this? And if you appreciated this video and you want more news of pop culture on the daily served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness which is basically this do make sure you click on that subscribe button like share comment down below your opinion conspiracies theories and whatever also as well you can always consider sending me a super thanks which is just below this video right here and until the next time you guys laters